Hello everybody, hope you're all having a good day today. Today we're gonna to be doing another puzzle rush video and we're just gonna to try to be we're just gonna to try to get the high score we possibly can and I'll be explaining my ideas behind these chess puzzles. So I hope you're excited and let's get to it. Alright, so here we go. Our first problem, and I think this is just a basic. You just take the knight, I believe. Yep. This one, uh, you have to, I think this one is about using this pawn to your advantage. You see that the king really doesn't have anywhere to go, right? It can only move along this uh, uh, this rank here, but it can't go up or like there's nothing to protect it, right? The only thing is you bring the rook back. So I think you give a check here because the rook must come back, right? Because the king couldn't go anywhere. So if it wasn't able to go anywhere, that would be checkmate. But now the rook comes back, so it's actually protecting the king, but you realize that you can just take the rook, so that's checkmate. Uh, this one I think is just a check right because that basically prevents the king from moving anywhere because the king's only squares are this square and uh, anything we're back right but it can't go back because of a rook so we just give a check here and then we prevent it from going to that square and this one is again a back rank kind of problem and back rank meaning like the rank of the king uh, opponent king and you see that there's nothing there it's just wide open so that's the check and that's checkmate um, this one I feel like is so the king really can't go on any of these squares, right? Because of the rook. And this diagonal is the only way it can go, right? He's trying to escape. The king is trying to go from here to here and to here, right? So they can escape. I think you just stop that here with this check. They can play that, but you can just take the pawn and that's checkmate. Uh, this one, I think, is just taking here because the king is really just... You never want to have this in a game. He's just cornered off, right? Because he can't go anywhere. His rook is stopping him from moving to the, uh, to the right. Or to the left, right? And then the king can't come here either because of our rook. So this just takes and that's checkmate. This is again, wow, these are a lot of similar problems. Okay, but it's again, same idea, right? The king is really, it's got nowhere to go, right? Because of the bishop, our pawns, and our king. And the, the back is just being blocked off. So if we give a check here, then that would basically just end the game, right? So that's check. Here, I think we go with the check here because the king, because this pawn takes, right? Here, where they took this pawn, right here, this this move really opened up this check, right? Because I wasn't there before; it just opened up. Now here, the king moves to the right, but I think we can give this check because once we give this check, the king can actually come here because of our rook that's going all the way down, right? So if we were to play that, that's checkmate. Here, um, let's see. So here, I'm thinking of a check like this and then the king has to go down right and then we can play a rook down because again the king is just has no squares to go to right so here and you see that king can't come here it can go here right anywhere here and the only square is this so we can just stop that and just go check and let's check me here uh let's see this one's interesting i guess so threats are obviously some kind of take on this maybe right take like there uh we can try to do something about that. I'm thinking knight here. Let me stop highlighting so many squares. Uh, I'm thinking knight here because that attacks the queen and basically the queen has to move and we're uh, attacking this bishop so it's a double attack or a fork. So I'm thinking this is correct. Yep. Okay so this one I think again is just a basic check because that obviously tells the king to move here and uh, again back rank. King has nowhere to go right? Can't come up right? Because all the pieces are there. Now the other piece goes on this rank, and we just give a check, right? It is a queen sacrifice. However, we can just take this rook, right? We, and then let's check me. All right, so this is an end game problem, and here you want to make sure that in end games you want to have more pawns, right? Because more pawns, you have the higher chance you have of promoting, right? And promotion happens when you bring the pawn all the way down to the other rank or the other side or your opponent's side of the board. And in this case, right? In this scenario, your king is ahead, right? So you want to protect this pawn while trying to achieve, like, to capture this pawn, right? Because that way you can get an extra pawn. So I think the move is here. That forces the king away because even if the king comes here, you just take this pawn, right? That's the goal. The king moves up and you go here, right? Because that's, you want to move your king because after you move your king, your pawn can get queened. So they come closer and then you push your pawn. All right. So this one I'm thinking is just a fork, right? This check because that basically just forces the king to move over, right? Because the king can't come here because of our queen on this, uh, this file. So the king must go here. Once they go here, we can just capture this knight. And this will make sense. So check, right? And then we capture the queen. And this is check. So it's not like you capture their queen and they can capture back. No, because they're in check. So that, and then you capture the rook, right? Free rook. All right, so this one, 
Okay, so this one I'm thinking of a bishop check or a queen check, but I don't think a queen check would make sense because we're trying to develop, right? We want to have our pieces out on the board. So I'm thinking that it's a queen b5 check first, and then the bishop has to block, right? And then you take with the bishop here, actually. And that's because once you take, uh, the queen will take, or if the king moves then right? We can just move our bishop and give a discovery check, right? And then they just lost a piece. But in this case, I'm thinking queen takes, right? Queen takes, and then we just win the rook. All right, so this one, I think, is... Obviously, we see that there's two rooks, right? And we can capture this pawn. I think the main question is which pawn you capture with. And I'm thinking it's this one. That's because once you take, king has to go back. Again, make uh, key, key awareness that these scores are not available, right? Well, this score, because the king can't go two steps. But this score is not available because of this bishop, right? So we just play a rook here, and that's checkmate. All right, again, same kind of idea, uh, actually not same idea, but uh, I think this one you give a check. And that's because, one, we're threatening, the ch we're obviously threatening the king, right? But then this knight's also here, right? So we can capture the knight. And I think the idea is to decoy here, because if the knight takes, then we win the rook. So I'm thinking of something like this. I'm gonna go with that, and then, yep, and then we win the rook, and they come back. Okay, so there's a continuation for this. Um, so I think continuation just would be coming back, right? Because where else can you really go? Because none of these are really that good. So it's just coming back. All right, so this one, again, I think is this bishop check because it obviously puts a check on the king, but the king really has nowhere to go, right? Because they have to block. Because again, they can't go here because our queen's taking a great job of this diagonal. So this would be check. And they just capture, so we just take the queen, right? Always take the queen, right, if you can, uh, without getting checkmated. Anyways, um, this one, I think it's just bishop takes because if queen were to take, right, queen were to take, then we can actually give this rook check on d8, and that's because now the king is really forced, like what's the move, right? Because if they don't take, they have to move up, we'll take the queen, check, and then we win the rook, and it might seem really confusing, but I'll explain what I'm saying. Uh, well, you'll see what I'm saying, right? And then if they do take the rook, then we win the queen, so this, they go down this exact same line. So. We give this check, and that's because we're decoying the king. Because look at this. The king is defending the queen. If we remove the defender of the queen, this queen is a free queen, and we win a piece, right? So if we want to give this check, it de basically deflects them from defending this queen, and then we're able to take the queen. All right, so this one, I'm thinking there's a pin here, something like this. But uh, if you do do that, they, do do they can play that, right? So maybe there's something more direct, or maybe there's some idea that I'm missing. Um, let's see. Okay, I think it is this. Oh, okay, so they didn't even play that. Okay, maybe because some kind of, yeah, knight there would be actually kind of bad for them. So I guess here you just take three piece. All right, so this one, I, I think this is about order, like choosing which what to take first. And I think it obviously makes sense that if you take your bishop, they're going to take the queen. So I don't know if you really want to do that. So I think you take this knight first because you can, right? Two pieces, one defender. That, that's first. And then if they do take your bishop, right, you, you obviously want to take here because it's a check and you can get out of the check, but also because you can take this bishop on the next move. So if you don't do if you don't take the bishop, right, and you move your king, for example, then they get an opportunity to save this bishop. So you take that and then they don't do a continuation, but that would essentially what that's what would happen. Okay, this one, this is a bite idea about how how you find a checkmate, I think. And you want your queen to be here, right? That's the ideal square, which is for checkmate. So the pathway for that would be for, to go here and then to that. So I'm thinking this is the move. And yeah, okay, so they can defend, right? But this is just a bishop take. You, know, you just take the bishop. And okay, they're trying to be sneaky here and try to say, okay, Kate, you want to take my queen and trade? But no, you can just go here because the king never had a chance to get there because of the knight. All right, so this one, okay, so I think this one is about... I don't think it's a back rank because if you if you if I were to go there takes and then you take right and my rook's there but you just come up right or let me see because then I no I don't think it's my back rank I think you take the knight I mean the not the knight you take the rook then the king takes and then you give check again and you win the knight I'm thinking that is the plan well, I'm gonna go with that okay and then you give this check and then they go back and then you win the knight all right so here we have. Okay, so obviously first things first, you got to realize that bishop is trying to attack the queen here. So, and your knight is under attack. So, there's something very sneaky here that we could probably play. 
So I think this idea is just uh, to take this pawn because that attacks the rook and it also attacks this pawn at the same time because if they were not to take the knight or they let's say they move their rook, right? Because it makes sense, right? You, let's say we play here. Uh, they move the rook here. Then we can do something with our knight. Now, obviously you can't take that because the rook is protecting this pawn. But that's a, definitely an idea. Let me just see though. If there, there might be something better. Um, hmm, I'm, I'm thinking this is the idea. Okay, so they give a check first. And I think with this check, I think we can just go back because there's no checks that hurt us. So I would go back. Okay, this check you just take, right? Okay, they're giving more checks, trying to be annoying. And I think you move over because there, or unless there's some kind of block, but I don't think there's any kind of block. But the only issue is if I move over is they just take the knight, right? Now, if they do take the knight, is it really an issue? Because we are up a piece, so I don't think that's an issue. Okay, so this one, obviously you might be thinking, okay, let's take the bishop, but then they do take your rook. Now, there might be a way to do something about that, but let's see. Um, if we push up, for example, well, then that doesn't help, right? Because the knight just moves to the square. So, my move might just be to take, but after take, you must have some kind of continuation. So, if I were to think about that, I would, let's see. So, let's say I move, well, for example, let's say we move up, right? Then, they play knight c5, for example. And then, hmm, I might be missing something very simple here. This, doesn't, this, this shouldn't be too difficult, but I might be missing something. So, so we take, and then rook takes some kind of sneaky check that I'm missing. Let's see. So, okay. What about bishop here? Bishop here just results in knight takes right after bishop here. Um, but if knight takes... No, we can't give a check. That's the problem. Hmm. Interesting. So, yeah, this might be our first incorrect. That's kind of sad because I don't see. I don't see why. I don't see what's the idea. Oh, actually, no, no, wait. It might just be a check. Yeah. Okay. That was really sad. It's just a check because that basically moves the king right, and it gets you out of this pin, and then you win the bishop. That makes sense. Yep. And then you win the bishop. Okay. And then they play this. Uh, you have to protect because you can't move one of your bishop because they, they take the other one. Okay, so this one seems like just pushing the pawn to victory. Check. Make sure to go to the left, not to the right, because that would just be a queen. Now, no one can stop the queen. Okay. Uh, Alright, so this one seems like a check, right? Because... The, oh, that wasn't it. Okay, we'll, we'll see that one later. See what we did wrong there. Um... Uh, I think this one all this one should be a check. <laughs> Watch it be back to back, not checks. Uh, but let's see. So if you do do this, right? That's a check. But then what do you have after that? Is the real question. Like we could just go all the way down here and then, yeah, I think that would make, that would make sense going here, and then they give a check, and I think I have to go down. Yep. All right. So this, I think, I just move over one, and it's gonna get tricky because there's gonna be stalemate trap trap traps here so we don't we want to avoid those now do not take this now if you take that that will be a stalemate because none of the black pieces can move so they don't even have a move so moves to push up all right uh this one seems like actually okay this one you might be tricked into taking but taking the issue is they can actually give checks checks and it's perpetual and it'll be a draw so i think the move is actually well not you can't even play that so maybe this is the move but then you do get perpetual so a proposal check. So maybe something like this. Rook check. Huh. Let's see. So I give a rook check. Takes check. And then they take this. So I guess that doesn't really achieve much. Um, well, actually, no, it does. It does. Because we give this, right? And then we win this. And they don't really have perpetual checks because my queen can come back. Yep, that makes sense. Oh, wow. What is this? Okay, this seems like such a lost position, but it's not. Okay, it must be this, right? Because it stops the king from coming here, so we can push your pawn. Yep, that looks right. Alright, this one is about... Okay, so this seems like some kind of checking kind of tactic, but let's see. Or maybe just this, but then... Actually, it might be just this, because... Yeah, because the queen really had nowhere to go. If they push the pawn, well, that's good for us, because we just take with our pawn. Alright, this seems like another back rank, but... Is it though? I think it is, but it's like a little bit interesting. So, 
Okay, so it's not the back rank. Or maybe it is a back rank, but maybe not the right move order, probably. Probably not the right move order. Or anyways. Okay, first things first, I'm thinking of taking. Let's check. I think that is the right idea, so let's go with it. And then now we gotta make a count or some kind of um, response, right? So here, obviously, a move like this seems appealing, but what is the idea, right? Obviously, the idea is to give checkmate. If the rook takes, we win the queen, so I think that looks good. Okay, they just took the knight. Okay, that's fine with us. That's putting us up a lot. Um, Okay, so this one seems like queen takes, but then rook takes would not be fun. So I guess that isn't too good. I guess we can give a check here. Giving a check. All right, let's see. Checks, right? Hmm. Yeah, I, I think check would be good because, okay, they move over, but then now we can just take and then we win the rook, right? This rook. Okay. 32, not bad, but it could be better. I think we missed two very simple ones, but it's fine. We'll only realize them. We'll see them later. Like, we'll review them. Okay, so this one... Uh, okay, obviously we're thinking something like this, right? Forks. But maybe it isn't It isn't supposed to be that. Maybe just taking a free piece. But then if it was just taking a free piece, that would be too easy, right? There, there's definitely something here that probably traps the queen. And it seems like it's that. Like, this knight move. But then... Knight just goes back there, and then what do I do, right? Like, it doesn't give me too much. Or maybe it is that simple, and you just take the bishop. Okay, um, that's interesting. I'm gonna go with this, but I, I don't, I see. So, it seems like, it because simple move is just take the bishop, right? But what's the problem with taking just the bishop? I don't see a problem, but um, then again, it could be a problem. Because I do see issue with... I think it is just taking that. Yeah, okay. It was that simple. Alright, so this one. Obviously, I'm thinking some kind of check here. Or maybe first, giving this check. Because that is also nice. I think it is this. Because king moves over, we give here. Or actually, yeah, we give this check, right? And the king has to... Oh, no, the king moves over. And then they just escape, I think. So maybe not that. Or actually, no, no. We, we have this check. Okay, the king went to the left. Okay, that's even more weird. I guess this now, because knight can just now go here. This is free rook. Alright, so this one seems like a... I think this is just queen takes, because rook's forced to take, then we go back, and then here... Oh, actually, no, but that doesn't do much. Oh, let me see. I guess... I'm I was, okay, first first thought I had was maybe taking the rook. But then if you just take the rook, right? King takes, and then you give a check in the back ring, but then the king can just escape, I believe. So maybe that isn't the best idea. But there needs to be something immediate, right? Because there's no way we're stopping this as black. So there must be something immediate here. So, okay, let's think about this. So takes, rook takes, then we go down. Sorry, look down, look down. So takes, 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 or not, not takes, but look takes, or look check, and then we have look down. It goes back. Maybe we take again, but that that doesn't seem too good either. Huh? Maybe I'm maybe I am just missing something. Let's see. Or maybe this. So takes, king takes, rook a one check, then. King F two, right? And then we could give something like this, but not sure how good that would be. Or maybe it is just um Rook A two, the knight takes or the king takes knight. Um look look there, something like that, but then they just get escape with something like this. So that isn't too good either. Huh. So this one this one's kinda weird. Uh missing something definitely. But what am I missing that's not so clear? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go with this. Okay, because it just seems like the right move. Oh, what? I'm so smart. We can just take the pawn. Uh, yeah, and then check me. Yeah, see, I missed so... I was calculating too much there. Uh, okay, so... This one obviously seems like a check, but might not be so clear there. Um, okay, so... Let's say we do give a check. 
and then king king here right king up h7 do we just do a bishop sacrifice and then but then king takes and then our bishop our queen has to go somewhere right because it isn't too good where it is i guess right because it otherwise we're just getting checkmated on the queen side for the white so obviously this seems like the right start but what is the finish to this i guess you could say so oh yeah i think it is bishop takes i think you give this check and then queen up and then okay down all right that makes sense okay so this one feels like a knight takes but let's see i'm gonna go with that okay and now i think the idea is what do you play and i think you actually play the knight up first before taking because you're attacking the queen and you're basically even if they take you're actually taking the queen with a check right and then you can so you don't lose your queen so i think it is this first and then you can take all right so this one obviously i'm thinking of okay do i just take the queen and then but if you take the queen rook takes and that's not too nice but i don't think it's bad for me either so that's the thing i'm thinking about let's say but what else can i play right maybe bishop takes i mean knight takes first or what am i saying uh knight takes the bishop first but then i mean i can do that on the next move as well so is it really that good because they do get some kind of thing going so i'm gonna go with this and then take to give this check okay and now i think the thing is between do i play up or do i play to the right and i think if you play here rook gives a check so i, I would assume going up is the best move oh okay so i guess going up knight there okay i missed that one all right let's talk about this one okay so we're talking about this one so this one is the one of the ones that we missed i guess oh were they just was it just plain simple okay this was one of the ones that we missed which was actually really easy but it's fine we missed the simple one okay and then which one the one that we missed we missed this one and this one that we missed was about okay so i thought this was bank back rank right um okay so if it wasn't back rank if it wasn't this it wasn't that i remember putting that maybe it was just this oh wow okay that was really okay i was looking at the wrong stuff i was just thinking of checkmate but really it wasn't even about checkmate and then this last one right which one i thought i think i had the right answer i just didn't execute properly so i did say that you take and then check and then it was this i guess here you go here because obviously you don't want to go up because of this or not this but like not necessarily that but something like this but yeah so that was essentially uh one of our puzzle rush videos i don't, I don't remember what we got we get like a 37 or something 37 uh not too bad we could have been better we missed like pretty simple ones but that's fine uh, i hope you learned a lot from this video i was trying to go through one of a, i was thinking through the puzzles and i was trying to show how i was calculating them sometimes i was too i was calculating too much but anyways uh please subscribe to the channel if you already haven't if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe right it helps the channel out and make sure to like the video uh turn on notifications by pressing the bell icon so you know when i post a video you get the updates anyways thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon